Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Natty Sue Beauty. If you haven't already, you should go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And while you're there, maybe give it a thumbs up. That'd be great. Um, today, I was thinking maybe we can do a little bit of a chit chat. Get ready with me. I don't really talk in my videos. I don't really like the way that I sound, but I guess we can always try something new. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, also, today is my mom's birthday. Maybe we can leave a comment and say happy birthday to my mother. I'm sure she would love that. Um, yeah, so if you want to see me get ready, and if you want to hear me babble for who knows how long, keep watching this video. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've already done my face. I've already put foundation on and did a little bit of contour, no blush, nothing like that. I can't get this bobby pin open. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some eyes. Um, I have this Lancome, I think that's the brand. I've been using it a lot lately to uh, just do kind of like a halo eye, because I've been obsessed with a halo eye lately. So I guess maybe that's what we'll do today. A little bit of a halo eye. Um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I should probably, let's prime my eyeball. I use my NYX, I don't wanna show you the lid because it's really dirty, but I use a NYX eyeshadow base. I use it in white. Um, it comes in like a nude color and like a white Pearl. I've had this eyeshadow primer for probably a little over a year, maybe even longer than that. And I use it for Halloween makeup as well, so it lasts a pretty good, pretty long time. So you just do this, make your eyes look really cool. I don't really let it dry. I don't really do anything by the book, but I think you can. With makeup, you can kind of do it whatever way you want. It's all about being creative, right? All right. So now, since I'm all primed up, I'm gonna go in with this light pink color. And we're gonna do kind of like a, a crease thing. might speed up part of this video some parts because I'm sure you don't want to watch me I'm not saying anything you don't really want to watch me just do the same shit over and over again so I might go really fast in like two seconds ready go Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this semi-dark color. It's not super dark, but we're gonna do this. Tap, tap, tap. Go in, we're gonna do the outside corner. I just kind of dab it on there. We'll do the outside corner, dab, dab, dab. Get some more, and then the inside. And then I kind of take it and rub it all along the crease just so that it doesn't look like you've got dark, dark, pink, and then nothing in the middle. It just kind of blends it out. But you want to leave this right here. Leave it with just the primer. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit of eyeshadow there. It's not that big of a deal because I'll show you what we do at that spot in a minute. So blend, 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 blend. You can even come up a little bit more. Blend it all out. And then you do the same thing with the other side.
Okay, oh, my back hurts. Okay, so with the same brush, I do this all with the same brush, because I'm, you know, too much time to clean my brush after every single time, and I'm using the same palette. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in with this really dark color. It's like a burgundy brown, kinda like a brown color. And now I'm just going to define the outer corner of my eye. Nothing crazy. Same thing on the other eye. I mean, you can do it on just one eye, but it might look a little funny. But I don't judge. It's all good. And then just make sure you even, even yourself out. Looks decent. I'll take it. All right, now what I've been doing recently is I will put on, if I can find it, a, um, a white eyeliner on the bottom. And I got this new NYX jumbo pencil and it goes on really, really like, it's really white when it goes on. So let's see. Put it on today, see how it goes, I guess. But I'll do this. See what I mean? It's like really white. And I guess that's what I wanted when I bought it, but I wanted it to be a little bit more subtle. But I put the white on because it helps open your eyes and make them seem more awake or bigger or something it makes them look something so that's why i do it i guess i just like it maybe all right so we got some white there now i'm going to take if i can find it there's a brush that i use for this oh there it is okay it's like this little, I don't, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. Um, but then I take the pink and the grayish brown and mix them together. And then I'll go underneath. Underneath the lash line. I don't go, I don't go in my waterline, but I'll go underneath to just, just kind of smoke out the bottom so it doesn't just look like I've got all this color on top and none on the bottom. I use more of the brown than I do the pink, but it just ties in the top to the bottom. It like makes it all come together. At least I think so. This is more of like a stiffer brush, so it's easier to do on the bottom. And then sometimes I do go in and I'll go with my um, blending brush and I'll blend out the bottom. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's all what I feel like doing. Don't mind my mouth either. I'm sure you all know the eyeliner, eyeshadow underneath struggle. Just like the mascara struggle. We all do it. But I'll just smoke this out, play with it, do what I want, come back in, blend it all out on the bottom, come to the top. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's like a fluffy, fluffy brush, but it's angled angled crease crease angled crease brush not really sure what you use that for but I use it for this part I use it to tap on my eyes in the halo part 
I don't know where I got these brushes. I think I got them um, for like a Christmas gift. But these brushes, I like them a lot. They're um, Urban Glow brushes. I don't know if that's a brand or or what, but I like them. So I'm just dabbing them on in the middle, dabbing this light color that's in the palette on the middle to just kind of give it the halo effect. Okay, that looks like a lot, but then I'm gonna go in with this gray again, the gray and the pink with the blending brush, and just gonna blend out, just do it all over again, blend it up. All right, it's pretty decent, I guess. Guess it'll work. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go full glam. So, I put some eyeliner on. Maybe, I'm running so low on this eyeliner. It is my favorite, NYX. NYX, whichever way does not make it go backwards. Um, it's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's the bee's knees, I love this stuff. Using it for years. Okay, so, this might be a little hard to do this, but we'll, we'll see. I can't talk when I do it, so. I blink or something? Here's a little trick. Also, if you use like this spoolie and you wait for it to dry a little bit, you can kind of just brush it off. And then you're kind of back to normal. And then I'm just going to dab a little bit of this light color. All right. So, that's the eyeliner. I've got the eyeliner on there. And we are going to go full glam, like I said. So, where are these lashes? So, we're going to use the Mega Volume Ardell Lashes. I love Ardell. It's like the best brand. It really is. But, first... We're going to, oh, gotta get the, the tweezers. First, we're going to put some mascara on, because it's always good to put mascara on before you put lashes on. That's the trick, I guess. It's my trick. I use telescopic. So, to all my unique ladies that sell unique, do your thing, girls. Love it. S sell that makeup, get that money, whatever makes you happy. I'm not a fan. I have really long eyelashes in general. I just wear like, I'll wear fake lashes just because sometimes it's fun and I feel really fancy when I wear fake lashes. Oops, sorry. Um, but I have long lashes in general and I tried the Unique Mascara because I'm all about, you know, I'll support these moms trying to make it, you know, and uh, so I bought some and maybe it's just me but I am not a fan of their mascara 
And I haven't really had anything else from that line. But I know that their mascara is supposedly like their top selling thing because it's 3D fibers. It's supposed to make your eyelashes super long. Um, but all it did for me was made my eyelashes look like I had fingers attached to the ends. And I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that. Um, it made them look really clumpy. And Telescopic brand by L'Oreal. It doesn't really do that, as you can see. They're like, they're not clumpy, but they're long, and this wand spreads them out. I just bit my tongue. Oh, that hurt. This wand spreads them out, so you get the length. And then, I mean, you can still put coats, layer, ow, layers on. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But, I like telescopic. So we're just gonna do the top for now. I'm gonna leave the bottoms and I'll do the bottoms in a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna get my glue. Glue, glue, lash glue by Duo. Brush on adhesive with vitamins. Do not freeze. If you didn't know, don't freeze your eyelash glue. It's not like chicken. You can't put it in the freezer and then take it out later and thaw it and use it that way. You can't do that. Just so you know. Everybody learns something new every day. Hmm. I haven't used these ones before. I usually usually use like the double double wispies. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. All right, so let's brush these on. You guys don't have to put lashes on. I just, I like lashes and I'm feeling feisty. It's also my only, well, my second day off for like a week. So why the hell not? All right, paint them with glue. Now, when you put glue on lashes, you don't want to just automatically just plop them onto your eyeball because the glue is not tacky yet. So they're not going to stick. So let the glue kind of sit there for a minute and get tacky. And I'll like that dress you bought in fifth grade. Super tacky. All right. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so if I get the if I get the mirror in the camera, I'm sorry. Whoop, whoop, which which way do I wanna go? I can't even see. I'm trying to figure out a way you can see. Hmm. All right, we'll try it this way. So you're gonna put it in the middle, as close to your lash line as possible. And then the inner corner, get some better light here. And the outer. Whoa. These aren't bad. Well, we're really hitting that full glam that I wanted to hit today. It should be dried. Yep, full glam. And I know I've got this little mascara thing on the top. We'll just brush that off. See how easy that was? See, I might be, I might not be a professional makeup artist, but I got some tricks. Got some tricks up my sleeve here. All right, so that's one eyeball. Let that dry a little bit. 
get the other one. Paint some glue on this bad boy. All right, so let that sit, get tacky. And we're gonna put it on the other eyeball. While we're waiting. I don't know if any of you have tried this before. It is honey, dew, and chamomile. It's an overnight cream facial mask. Dude, my skin has been screaming for some hydration lately and I bought that the other day with a um, cucumber peel off facial mask and it's awesome. It smells really good and it worked really good. I put it on and it just kind of like soaked into my skin. I'd recommend it. I got it from CVS. Super cheap. It's like buy one get one 50% off. Okay. We're on to eyeball number two. Uh oh. I'm riding the struggle bus. Ooh, no. That one was not very good. No, Natalie, you suck. They're on there. I'm gonna go in with. I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner again. And just hit the inside. Then after that, we're not finished. I'm telling you, we're not finished. So we're gonna finish the rest of our face. So we didn't do the eyes underneath. Well, we did do the eyes underneath, but we didn't put the mascara on underneath. So that's what we're gonna do now. And put some more white under your your eyes once this dries a little bit. Sorry, I'm just looking at myself. So those are the eyes. I don't know if I like these lashes or not. They're okay. They're not. They're not too bad. Um, okay. So next. Next, we're going to use our contour palette, or whatever contour palette you have. I'm going to use this brush right here. It's just flat. And this color right here is like a highlight. So I'm going to go in on the inside and throw a little highlight in here. And then on the inner, inner parts of my eye. It just kind of opens them up a little bit. At least that's what I think. Just like with the white eyeliner, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just like the way that it looks. And this makeup I've worn with uh, my boyfriend and he likes it so I try to do it more even though he likes me without makeup most um, 
I've done this for work a couple times and he's like, hmm, the way you did your makeup today is really pretty. And I'm like, cool, I'm gonna do it more like that. People viewed your video more than, oh, okay, cool. I'm glad you guys are viewing my video at the, t at the moment. So you can do as much or as little as you want. I like to be pretty shiny. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna do the rest of my face and finish that off. So here we go. This is some really pink blush, but it's pretty. And I just dab it. Dab, dab, dab. But like, like that one blogger's video where her dad did the voiceover. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. dab. Now I'm really pink, but I like blush. I know some people don't like blush. But I love blush. All right. So that's that. Now let's highlight our freaking face, all of our face, all over. Oh, using NYX Liquid Illuminator. a different one. I bought this. I don't normally, I'm always usually like a nude, nude lippy type person, but I don't know, this looked kind of fun. I'll probably regret it the instant I put it on. But whatever, let's go, let's do it. deal with it I guess I kind of really want to put like a um, ombre in the middle to make it lighter I think I'm going to <laughs> This isn't the ombre color I wanted. Oh well, it'll work. So I'm not dressed. <laughs> for this full glam look, but it's okay. Well, God, this eyelash, what the heck? The heck eyelash. It's just looking really funky compared to the other one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Um, leave me some ideas for another video to do. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>